Good morning. Good morning. It's good. I drew these guys. Are we allowed upstairs? No. That's extra money. Y'all having a good morning so far? Yeah. yeah. Good. Awesome. Good to hear a good, happy crowd. My name is Eric. I am a naturalist. I'm also a marine biologist. I work here in the Monterey Bay about four days a week, and then on the weekends I do research up in the uh, outside the San Francisco Bay. The whales will eat a lot out here because not much food down south. Some of our whales out here might be pregnant, so they're trying to get as much food in their system as possible so they can have enough nutrients to develop a nice, healthy calf. And also, if they do successfully give birth, the, that blubber layer breaks down and becomes milk. And also, it's a long swim down south, right? So that mom has to get plump as possible. If she successfully gives birth, she wants to do it down south. Why? Her little 12 to 15 foot long calf doesn't have much blubber. Blubber is like a jacket. It keeps them warm. So being born in warm water might help them have a fighting chance at survival. When that calf is born, it's going to want milk instantly. And that blubber breaks down and becomes milk. So mom's blubber layer will break down and feed herself and that calf. Uh, she'll raise the calf down there for a few months, wait for it to be nice and strong. Eventually, they'll make it to these feeding grounds. Mom, the hardest thing for her ever is taking care of that calf. You know, she's giving up a lot of herself to that calf. So when she comes here, it takes some of the stress off. Why? Because she's eating again. She'll eat again and her milk will get extra fatty. It'll get so fatty, it might be about 50, maybe even 60% fat. Kind of like good quality ice cream. <laughs> um, that milk is so fatty and that calf will drink maybe 50 gallons of it a day, maybe even close to 100. Uh, that milk will get so fatty, the calf will gain about four to five pounds an hour. Wow. You heard me what? right. I didn't say that wrong. <laughs> Four to five thousand. <laughs> what, what would happen to us if we ate it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do the math, that's close to 100 pounds a day. So there is a certain part of that calf's life it will gain that much weight, especially when mom Jeez. comes back here and starts eating it again. Yeah. And uh, the calf will keep it gain like a half inch a day. And while calf is gaining, mom's losing. She'll probably lo lose about an eighth of an inch off her. Uh, of her, uh, well, they don't really have a waist, but of her <laughs> waistline, yeah. <laughs> Real line. So she'll, she'll shrink a little too while that, while that calf is growing. Aww. So that's why it's so important for a whale to eat a lot here. Males, they're eating a lot because when they go down south, they beat the snot out of each other. They go through what we call oh. competitive behavior. Uh, all the guys want to get, get next to a girl, right? right? Everyone has the same idea. So they go through competitive behavior. They race each other. They'll swing their massive flukes at each other, take their heads and just wow. bash each other. They'll do that for months. Try oh. to get to that girl of their choice. Jeez. Sometimes dozens, even up to about wow. 40 of them will just beat the heck out of each other. They'll get so involved in this competitive behavior, that female might take off and be out of range. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I guess there's a buildup. They, don't, oh boy. they yeah. don't have any hands. I guess they can't masturbate. So. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, the shit. elephant. It's yeah. like wow. the elephant. We yeah. are in public. Yeah. Oh but yeah, that's how yeah. that's how whales compete. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they swing those flukes. It's the great thing about them, they're the most agile and athletic whale out here. Sometimes they're typical calves, they're kids. They get really playful. They'll fly out of the water while mom's eating. That's well, called so, breaching. Now, um, the births are down in the uh, Baja in March. Yeah, right? Baja, yeah. mainland Mexico, Central America, but way down said, there. But you said they might be pregnant up here in this, mm -hmm. like in April. Because the gestation's about a year, about 11 months. So, yeah. question, oh, question. Mm -hmm. They're going to be pregnant here mm -hmm. 11 months. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then they go, mm -hmm. oh, and then they go down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Then they go down in March. Yep, so it's a cycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a great place to be pregnant because I can get a lot of food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, birds are going to be a highlight of the trip too. So if you folks have questions about birds, make sure you ask.
We're in their home. If they want to take off, they can. That's why we always stay back about 100 yards and do their thing. So beautiful. I love you. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah, we haven't yeah. seen much, but yeah, great. Coming by. If we do go a little bit further offshore, we can possibly see that. There's the other one. Is that gorgeous? Yeah. yeah. Those whales you see in Alaska are actually feeding in Alaska and then go down to Hawaii to breed and raise their young. That's how we divvy up the populations by where they breed and feed. And around the world, you got 14 different populations of humpbacks. This population is quite small, about only about 5,000. But the great thing is, the Monterey Bay has so much food, a lot of the smart whales like to come here year after year after year. We have good days during the peak season where there could be about 100 whales in this bay. Yeah, so this water is really cold consistently and that big canyon I told you about yeah. really helps drive the nutrients that are just sitting at the bottom of the seafloor up towards the surface. That lights up our food chain, so you got an uh, amazing turbocharged food chain in the Monterey Bay. That's why so many of the smart humpbacks make the Monterey Bay their regular stop. And these humpbacks, folks, they're just like us. They have traditions, culture, and it seems like, yeah, if they remember the Monterey Bay is a good spot for food, they'll come here year after year. Moms and babies, the calves, learn from mom exact migration routes, feeding ground preferences. So if mom brought you here, you're gonna come back here most likely. We've actually have documented about three generations of whales come back here year after year after year. We know them so well, thanks to those tales, um, that we know some of their family trees. Yeah. And the neat thing is, you know, when you talk to biologists like me, it's usually bad news all the time. You expect me to talk about global warming and microplastics. There's That's some good news too. <laughs> These humpbacks right here. Yeah. If you ask me how many there were about four years ago, I would have told you only 2,700. Oh. But it's, it's 5,000. The population's exploding. They are doing good. Mm -hmm. They're wow. doing good. That makes me feel. COVID was Does that make you feel better? Ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there, there is some good news out there. Awesome. Humpbacks are. This population is growing tremendously. Yeah. That's great. But we got to keep them safe. The two things they have to worry about nowadays. Luckily, in our part of the world, they don't have to worry about harpoons. But it's um, entanglement. They do get wrapped up in marine debris, uh, abandoned, you know, lines and stuff that might be floating around out there. And the other thing, the major thing is ship strike. They get hit by cargo That's ships so because the California coast has some really busy uh, shipping areas. You know, we got the San Francisco Bay. We got the Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach down in Southern California that have a constant flow of cargo ships. So there's a lot of researchers out there and um, luckily some uh, government officials who want the cargo ships to just slow down when whales are around, you know. And they don't, they, and they won't. Question. Luckily, some have. Some have participated, some are slowing down. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, 
Look at how pretty you are! Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Pacific white sided dolphins. Pacific white sided dolphins. Yeah. yeah. Just remember that beautiful stripe pattern along their side. Yeah. White sided. Pretty fast swimmers. Oh, yeah, they are. They're quick. Jump. Yay! Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it.